Hey everyone, hope you guys are all doing well. Some big news came out today. CPI data came in at 4.9%, a little bit below expectations, but still a good thing. Unfortunately, it does show that CPI is starting to get sticky. Inflation is starting to get sticky, okay, everybody? However, this is still good news that we are still going down and we still haven't had any upticks in inflation. Whenever, if we do have an uptick, that's where things might get a little bit bad, but the market overall today has been loving this. We see the NASDAQ up over 1%, the Dow is up, the S&P 500 is up. However, Bitcoin has kind of been whiplashing over the past few hours. If you guys have been following me on copy trading, we made a lot of money off of that just a few minutes ago. However, it is still very rough to be trading that one, so just be careful if you're on the crypto side of things, okay? Now, some of the good news about the CPI report is finally, Finally, rent inflation has actually come down just a tad. It is still extremely high. It only came down by just a little bit. However, that is showing that a lot of the inflation is peaking here. We did see that used cars came up a little bit more than expectations. That's not really good, but overall, we've had a good drop in inflation. If this stays as is, we should be okay, but we do need to keep going down by a little bit more than we did this time. We basically just went from five to 4.9, that's kind of sticky, that's kind of icky, that's not really what we need. However, the market is taking whatever it can get and you can see today the NASDAQ is just booming and that is great for us overall. Now, the second bit of news here which was really surprising to me because now it's gonna make things kind of muddy going forward is what's going on over at the White House, Congress in general. It seems like the Biden family, Biden, Joe Biden, Hunter Biden, whatever you want to call them, uh, it seems that they might have been doing some shady dealings with China and Romania. At least that's what the Republicans are alleging. Um, ABC News and a lot of the major news networks are taking this seriously besides CNN, but I don't know if you guys want to trust CNN these days. Um, but, you know, the ABCs, the NBCs, they're taking this seriously. And I guess there's been some, been some whistleblower reports coming from the Justice Department and the IRS going to testify in front of the Senate, which is going to be huge because this means that they have credible things to say. Now, leave all that politics aside. It is going to make it a little bit more difficult for Republicans and Democrats to come to an agreement to figure out how to raise the debt limit. So you may start to see that come into focus a little bit more. At this point, though, guys, I still don't believe we're going to default on our debts. I think it's just a big game of chicken, and it's going to be who blinks first. At this point, it seems like Joe Biden is in a weaker position because he has the no negotiation standpoint, and it's hard to say I'm not going to negotiate with a divided house or divided Congress, so to speak, but all they got to do is start negotiating. I think we'll be fine from there. They can kick the can down the road as they have talks. But let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think Biden did this stuff or his family did this stuff? Or do you guys think that the CPI number should be lower than it is, higher than it is? Or do you guys think CPI is just where it needs to be? Thanks, everybody.